So I'm gonna make me a couple of oils here. And I'm starting with uh, mixing some concrete with water uh, that I'm gonna put in the bottom of my pots, my terracotta pots. Uh, since the bottom of the terracotta pots has a hole, so an oil would just, uh, unless there's concrete or silicone or whatever you want to use, um, the water will just pour out on the back. And I'm actually keeping my sticker here on the bottom um, to avoid having water pouring out my table. Way too much water in my concrete. I don't know how much I'm putting in there, maybe um, five millimeters, a quarter of an inch. Just enough to cover it and make it stick in the hole. Uh, as you can see on the pots, they are sucking out the moist out of the concrete really well. And uh, that's of course exactly the same thing as an oil would be doing with water when you fill it up. So now I'm gonna put some silicone on top, on the edge, and then I'm gonna glue on a second uh, pot on top of that. Let me get the pots. Here's the second pot. It's going to be glued on using silicone and on the top, in the hole, I'm going to attach a small hose. Oops. So in the end, it's going to look like something like that, and that would be a complete oil. So I'm using uh, an aquarium grade silicone, which is uh, used to put together an aquarium. So it's um, food grade silicone, it won't kill you. It won't kill your fish, and of course you won't be um, putting toxic things into your uh, soil. And I've, I've seen a lot of people using PU glue, like uh, Gorilla Glue, and that's actually quite toxic. And even though I've read that some people claim it's non-toxic once it's um, burnt or hardened. I don't quite trust that since we're going to be having a constant amount of water on this the whole year or the whole season. Okay, so now I've put silicone around. I'm just going to attach my second and I don't push it on too hard um, and then I just use my finger to even out the silicone a bit above and under the 
what do you call that in English? The scar? <laughs> the, the edges? Okay, that's one. Now there's just four more to go. So I think I paid about um, 60 krona for the silicone, which equates to just about 6 euros. And I paid about 10 krona for, the, for each pot. And the hose is about a hundred krona for 30 meters, I think, or was it 200? So altogether, that makes each Oya costs 25 to 30 krona, which then is 253 euros something. And it's totally worth it. Okay, so maybe I, I mean, I did fail some here. Got some concrete on the edges and I mean, it really doesn't matter. I'll put it out, but as long as you don't get any on the edge, you're fine. And i uh, rather use too much than too little silicone, of course. You just smear it out. You want them to stick. And you don't want any leakage whatsoever. And you know this thing? That's a good thing. That uh, if you don't push it, it'll just keep coming silicone here in between, and you'll make a mess. So that's a pro tip. Not that I'm a pro. And uh, one of the reasons that I don't push it all the way down is that you actually get a bit of um, wiggling. What do, you, what do you say? You get you're at, if they're actually on to each other, that they won't handle expansion and, and things as well from heat or whatnot. Altogether, I think I have now nine oyas placed in my garden or in my allotment. I have uh, 
needed five more. And it works so well. I have a half cubic meter of water, which is 500 liters in a water tank. That's about, I don't know, 120 gallons. And since these consume about, or consume isn't the right word, since these let out some two liters a day, half a gallon each, I can run it for weeks without watering my plants. Uh, note that I still have to go and handle all the weeds every second day, but it, it, it really, really make things grow fantastically. If they can handle moisture in the soil at all time. Yeah, I sort of messed this last one up a little bit by uh, not putting the top pot on perfectly. And when I pushed it down and wiggled it out, I um, got some areas in the edge that was without silicone. But I think it should work out. Okay, I'm just going to let this rest for, I don't know, 10 minutes. And then I'm going to attempt to... Um, install the post for you and show you how I do that. Okay. It's been about 10 to 15 minutes and um, it's in no way dry, but uh, it has a bit of a skin layer, the silicone. So now I'm gonna show how I attach the, the hose. this up a little bit. So the hose goes in the hole. I, um, I let the hose go down perhaps two centimeters, which is uh, three quarters of an inch. And then I attach it using silicone. But in order to get it, you actually, as you glue it in, you want the hose to stand up. So if it's on the sideways, you're not going to get silicone all around in the hole, around the hose. Actually, let's see if I can show what I mean. Since the hose is it's a smaller diameter than the hole, I want silicone all around the hose. And not that it's leaning against the side, because then you might get a problem with leakage. So in order to do that, to attach the the hose straight down. I use a small wooden stick. I bought these in my local supermarket and they're used for uh, barbecuing. And then I use some masking tape, whoops, masking tape to uh, stick it on. Okay, so now it's attached pretty well. Uh, and then I use a good meter or more of hose. And although that is way more than required usually, it's much easier to make something shorter than it is to make something longer when you put it out. In the, or dig it down in the ground and attach it to other hoses. Okay, let's see. So that's about uh, two centimeters. Attach some tape to the stick. And now I can, like an extra hand. And also, as the silicone dries, it's not going to be moving. Okay. 
almost out of silicone. I hope it's enough for all five. This is a rather important part to get right. You really don't want any leakage on top. I mean, it's okay. I, I actually have one oil that has a little bit of leakage. And uh, what happens is that it release a little bit more water. But it's not that much at all. Okay, so here we go. You just put a whole bunch there around and inside. And then I smear it out to uh, remove any air bubbles and whatnots and also make it a bit more attached further up on the hose. And I guess it's, I mean, if you have silicone on top of everywhere like I have now, you're not going to get any water coming out there through the pot. And that is, of course, could be good or could be bad depending on what you want okay and then I just repeat this for all of my oils Alright, so that's five oils. Now I'm just gonna leave this dry for. Well, probably a few days before I take them out. I wanna make sure that it's really dry all the way through. And then I can take them down. I'll, uh, Get back in a few days and uh, show when I put them in. Okay, here is my allotment. To the right is my water tank. It's a passive system. It's just using gravity pushing down water into the hose. And I have a few uh, spare meters for future collections. And it falls to my uh, zucchini corn and beans. The latter is hidden behind the cover. Um, and then you'll see my tomatoes and uh, dug down oil that I put there 24 hours ago. And quite a bit of moist.